Here at Libertas Video, we are no strangers to creating short films, whether that's writing the scripts or developing the costumes or stepping into the character to bring it all together and bring it all to life. But many of our productions were always limited by many of the same factors, whether that was the amount of people that we had access to or the locations that we were able to shoot at. It was always so disappointing to have an idea of what you wanted to create, but be limited by what you actually had available to you. But what if I told you that there was a better way for you to become the action hero of your own movie? As a digital avatar, I can fight a ninja. I can become the captain of a pirate ship. Or I could parkour over the rooftops of a medieval city. And what if I told you, you can do this too. I'll show you how using Character Creator Force plugin, Headshot 2.0. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that Reillusion did send this plugin to us for review. That being said, it has been several months since it's been released and I've been testing it out ever since then, and these are my honest opinions that have not been influenced in any way. The first thing I did was to have my wife scan my face with Kiri Engine. She took about 25 to 30 photos, which were uploaded and stitched together to make a very detailed representation of my face. I downloaded the high resolution file and imported it into Blender. I knew I was going to have to do some cleanup on this file, and so I merged the overlapping vertices and brought it into sculpt mode. I essentially used the smooth brush to remove any of the odd jagged edges that were present. A lot of them were due to my unshaven face, but the cleaner that we can make this model at this stage of the process, the easier it will be for us later on. With my clean model, I scaled it down so that it was life-size and exported it as an FBX. I brought the FBX into Character Creator 4, ensuring that everything was oriented properly, and linked up the diffuse map to the model. I then started Headshot 2.0. This plugin is great. I used the previous version for a lot of my characters like Alexander or Ashley. However, that was all based off of using a single photo to generate the head. Headshot 2.0 can still use that same exact method, but where it really shines is that in this version, it has a mesh functionality as well. Doing this essentially requires you to match up the predefined points in sequential order on your model as seen on the Character Creator 4 head. You can also add additional points like you see me doing with the hairline to get even more accuracy. Once done, you can generate the head and begin to refine the mesh. I typically find that the base is good, but using the sculpt brush, I tend to need to project or smooth the mesh a little more to get it more accurate. I also had to work with my head sculpt a bit more cautiously since I have some additional challenges based on my own face. In particular, the facial hair doesn't convert so well, so I had to use the clone brush to essentially recreate the mouth and the chin. This took some finessing, but eventually I got something to work with. Aside from that, the refining phase can take as long or as little as you want. It all depends on how accurate you want to get. But even still, in a few short minutes, we have a head that is strikingly similar to what was scanned. You can then attach it to one of the standard Character Creator 4 bodies or a body that you already have in your scene. After several head scans and testing out this plugin, I would highly recommend that you untick this box which says to keep the neck shape. Unless you have a more stylized character where the neck is important, I find that transferring the neck shape can provide unintended consequences, and it's easy enough to reconfigure with morph sliders. So once you've chosen the body that you want, after a short while you'll have a full character. During the process, Character Creator 4 bakes the diffuse map and bakes the normal map to use with your character, and the program does its best to match the skin tones. Now, based on my work with the plugin, I've found that you will need to do some additional refinements with morph sliders after the creation process. The sculpt on my head created a few problems we will get into, but typically I find that the eyes start out a little too small and sometimes angled weird. You also need to pay particular attention to how the neck translates. It looks fine by itself, but for some reason on the first few models that I worked with, I found the neck geometry had an effect on the clothing that you place on your character. For me, Hoods came in kind of weird, like the neck was shrunken, even if it looked fine in the viewport. Again though, after I stopped ticking that box that said keep the neck shape, I haven't had any of these issues. Aside from that, the way that my face was scanned did create a few problems for this stage of the process. I did not scan the face in the best lighting. 
it was in my kitchen at night, so it was harsh lighting, and that affected my diffuse map. And the way that the scan captured my facial hair, those points did affect the way that the normal map was baked. So I had to fix those textures in Photoshop, reducing the highlights and the shadows for a more smooth, even look. I also had to smooth out the normal map to reduce the bumpiness on my chin. From there, you have a lot of creative control on the face. I like to do a few more further refinements with the thousand plus morphs that are included with the plugin. Things like fixing my lips and my chin. These are little things, but when it comes to faces, sometimes the little things are the most important aspects of making the likeness look as real as possible. I then go even further, adding in hair from the hair builder pack, so we actually have facial hair. I also add in more details to the normal maps with the Skin Gen Pro plugin. I then add in realistic wrinkle maps with the expressions pack. These are all extra plugins if you need them, but I find that they do help take your character to the next level. Personally, I made my own hair in Blender and the bandana in Marvelous Designer and imported them back into Character Creator 4. The end results are uncanny. It's fun to hear my own family and friends responding to what this looks like, and I think that opens up a lot of opportunities for anyone in the game or film industry. You can add yourself, you can add your spouse, your friends, into a world that you have created. For those doing fan projects, odds are that there are sculpts of your favorite characters out there that you can import and leverage Character Creator 4 and iClone for your fan project. For films, you can have a digital double doing insane stunts. And again, with Headshot, it can be all done very quickly. So would I recommend this plugin? Absolutely. The original Headshot was already a huge staple in my production pipeline to begin with, and Headshot 2.0 just takes it to the next level. What would have taken me hours before takes me minutes now. And it's so cool to see those base meshes come together so quickly and get you onto the next process, allowing you to be more creative, iterate more, and save a lot of time in the process. So couldn't recommend it more. But the real treat is taking the models and harnessing all the power that Character Creator 4 has to offer. From extended facial profiles to the dynamic wrinkles, or using skin gen to add in even more details like tattoos or scars, it really gives you so much power at your fingertips. So if you find yourself on the fence as to whether or not you want to buy this plugin, I would say go for it, especially if you're gonna be able to utilize that mesh functionality. You're just gonna save yourself a whole bunch of time, a whole bunch of effort, and you're gonna have better results overall. So I would highly recommend it. Otherwise, let me know in the comment section below whether or not you are gonna be adding this to your arsenal, and we'll see you on the next Libertas video.